guys, what's up? It's Serna from No Worthy Games, and today I'm really, really excited to bring you guys my personal defense strategy and setup for Town Hall Level 8 in Clash of Clans. So, personally, I've been working on this setup for a long, long, long time, and you know, I've been changing stuff around here and there, and it took me a few days actually to make this whole setup complete, and then it took me a few weeks after that to tweak it up to make it to where it is right now. I've changed defenses around, I've changed walls around, made a bunch of things different, improved on a bunch of stuff, farmed here and there, and finally got to the trophy level to which I am right now, which is 1600, I'm pretty proud of it, and I'm level 53. So this setup, literally, I promise you, if you use this setup, you will probably get to a high trophy level in a matter of no time, if you're on Town Hall level 8. Um, the setup overall, like push away all the upgrades that I made and everything, the setup overall is really, really strong and really, really effective because if you place your defenses in the right place, then there's not going to be really a weak spot in your whole entire setup. I got three mortars in the middle, which cover basically all the areas of the map with mortar damage, and that's splash damage. And then basically I got these, like, four little triangles I guess which are full of defenses and I really like it because you have the wizard tower here, the wizard tower here, and the wizard tower here and that means that you're gonna get splash damage from anything so say someone puts a bunch of archers down here well the wizard tower is gonna cover that and it's gonna take him out with splash damage same goes for here and same goes for here and I know this town hall level setup can be really really better with better defenses and better um, walls of course but overall just from what I am right now I mean my trophy levels I've literally with this setup it's only been here for a few weeks I've gone from 1,300 trophies to 1,600 trophies in a matter of three days literally I gain a hundred trophies every day it's actually absolutely insane because a lot of people underestimate this setup they think it's so easy oh, I'm gonna go attack but it's not especially because I have three te hidden Teslas right here and since the update happened, these Teslas have been, you know, buffed and upgraded to defend against P.E.K.K.A.s really, really good. And then I also have these three, these four are actually bomb mines positioned for attacking um, air defenses. And I also have these two air defenses that are basically cover each map, each part of the map, I guess. And these four are really effective because, you know, they can't see them, obviously, and they send maybe a, a healer there or something, and it takes them out pretty easily. Or dragons, but if they all four go for the same dragon, then the dragon's basically done. So, the hidden Teslas, I put them here for a reason, and that's because when people send giants in from here, this area, and this area, that's basically what they do. They send giants from here and here, and they try to get this part of it done and this part of it done because mostly they're attracted by this gold which there's not much in there because it's only a level 2 gold storage so after they the giants take out this archer tower they're gonna go for the tesla but what I've done is I've put traps right here and these the traps actually in this game are really effective especially the spring traps I would highly recommend you guys use those and put it the same way I've done it put everything the same way I've done and that's why I'm sharing with you guys I want you guys to I mean, I've used this attack, I mean, defense strategy, and I think it's pretty effective. So anyway, the basically the giants go in from here, and they just basically get raped by these spring traps that are positioned for them. And then it's not a probable chance that they're going to get through these walls after getting hit by all this other crap that's hitting them. So overall, I mean, in this area as well, we have a uh, clan castle, noteworthy games, as usually you guys are always noteworthy and you, you guys are always uh, welcome to join that clan it's, it has some free spots in it so you guys are welcome to join that and after I've shown you this now I actually want to show you my recent battles that I've defended against so basically what happens is I either get one starred or I get every I basically win every single battle uh, you can see here I won 24 trophies you can see here I lost nine trophies 127, 118, 128, 119, 24, and then here. Here comes here that I've lost 24 trophies and I got three starred. And this is one instance because, I mean, if you just look at what he attacked me with, he had a really effective attack strategy. He attacked with a level 3 healer and a level 2 rage spell, which goes 
seriously well together because the level two healer, I mean the level three healer just keeps healing these level five troops which he used, level five archers and level five barbarians like super super quickly and it's really really effective. So that's a good attack strategy actually. But if you see my other battles, this guy attacked me with 14 level five giants and everything else level five, two level three uh, healers and I still won 23 trophies, 22 over here, 30 over here, I think I got attacked by a few dra five dragons and I won 24 over here. Uh, 24, 21, 17, 21, 18, 25, 22, 30, minus 10, 19, and I think by this time right here, it was the time that I uh, just upgraded actually, so, or I actually just updated my uh, town hall, so, to this new setup, but overall, af before that and after that, it's just total, you know, wreckage on my part, I mean, I've just got so many trophies on my hands I don't even know what to do I, I think I want to go back to farming because it's such a high trophy level for this setup right here but anyways guys if you like the video then please like it share this with your friends comment on the video favorite it if you want to and most of all if you guys really enjoy the video then please subscribe because I would really appreciate it so I hope you like this setup video for town hall level 8 I personally think it's one of the best and it's really good so feel free to copy it and uh, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and adios.